So in this video, we'll be having a discussion about the secondary and the or the auxiliary device storage. And uh, here in these devices, uh, there will be a video which will be attached with this particular video to show you the workings of uh, these devices. So initially, let us discuss about what are the different components of the secondary device. And when I'm saying secondary or auxiliary device, that means we are going to discuss about the hard disk drive. So in this in this picture which you are seeing in this uh, in this page, you can see there are different components of hard disk drive. And here, uh, let us start with the components one by one. Now these are the components which are used to take external inputs where this is SCSI interface connector and uh, here this is for power and this is the jumper. Jumper is generally used to select whether uh, you want a particular hard drive to be uh, you know master hard drive or a slave hard drive and uh, then there are some power connectors here also okay and uh, these Connectors are actually they are not of a lot of useful uh, use to us for uh, this UGCNET examination or gate examination because they are not going to ask you about these components. The major things they are asking about is this uh, hard disk drive that is uh, the magnetic storage, how you store the data inside this mag magnetic storage and what are the different disk scheduling algorithms. So that is why this uh, I am not giving a lot of inter in, you know lot of uh, importance to these connectors because they are not of any use to us okay and here you can see uh, this is this complete this is the rotating disk here let me show it to you like this this rotating disk this complete is representing the magnetic disk this is the magnetic disk and in this magnetic disk we store the data and there are multiple magnetic disks here for example here you can see this is the disk 1 this is the disk 2 this is the disk 3 there are three disks here and all these three the disks separately they are called as platters. Now the data is stored on the surface of this disk and this surface is a magnetic surface and there are two surfaces either you can store in the upper surface or you can also store in the lower surface of the disk. Lower surface means if you this is the disk then you can store data here as well as you can store data here. And uh, there is some you know this disk is having some kind of uh, size or uh, in some information which are associated with the disk which we will be discussing and here uh, here we have this is the read write head now this read write head this is the location which uh, actually uh, it does not touch the disk but there is an air uh, interface or air between the actual hard disk and this uh, uh, read write head because if it is going to touch the disk then it will make scratches on the disk which we do not want and scratches means your data is going to get corrupted so we write data on the disk from this and we also read data from the disk using this one okay this is the interface between the magnetic disk and uh, the taking data from by the user or to the to this machine and there's a video which is attached to this uh, in the in that video you will be seeing how these disks are working so i'm going to attach uh, some uh, videos uh, i don't own the copyrights to those videos because uh, they are owned by some other people i plan to open a hard disk and show you this uh, show this everything to you properly but uh, maybe in near future i'm going to do it but i don't think so that is much necessary because a lot of things are already available online now here this is the actuator axis and this complete is the actuator this actuator actually made up of magnets this is these are powerful magnets they are so powerful that uh, they can lift a weight around 1000 times uh, their own weight for example if the weight of this magnet is 1 gram then this magnet is uh, so you know, powerful that it can lift a weight of around uh, 1000 kg thousand, they are, these are 1000 times more powerful there is no uh, here in this actuator there is no motor which, it, which is attached to it this actuator actually moves with the help of this magnet and this entire disk is divided into something called as tracks and sectors so there are tracks like this and all these tracks are actually divided into sectors there are sectors like this we'll take the example of tracks and sectors in the next video in this video we are just discussing what what are, what are the different components and here you can see this is actuator arm this complete is actuator arm right this is the actuator arm and uh, this is representing the actuator axis so we are mostly concerned about this magnetic disk and this read write head because whatever we are algorithms which we are going to write that is dependent on these two things only so i'm finishing the video here you know you know the basic names of these components 
now because we know the basic names of these components now you can understand the video which will be played after this one and uh, in the next video we'll be dis discussing about this magnetic disk in more detail where we will take examples of uh, how this disk stores the data and what are the various time delays which we have in, in terms of this disk and what is the actual structure of this one okay